friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make this beautiful sculpture painting of Iris Lily with these two beautiful butterflies. Sculpture painting is made using sculpture paste and palette knife. Sculpture paste is a decorative plaster which can be used to make 3D flowers and do relief work. The process is to scrape sculpture paste in different angles, ways and place it on base to give it the right formation of a relief or flower petals. When the same process is repeated with a beautiful composition like this one, you make a sculpture painting. To make a beautiful sculpture painting like this one, you need to use a good quality sculpture paste that will give you a nice volume so that your painting may rise up to a good volume like this one, which is up to five centimeters. And for that, I like to use decorative plaster sculpture paste from Dian Arts. They have newly launched a website that is dianarts.com from where you can buy all these materials required for this tutorial and friends if you use code launch l-a-u-n-c-h you will get an additional 15% off on all the products now let's start the tutorial friends This is how it will look when the base is completely dry. So now friends, let's place a stencil and do our next step. I'm using dark green color sculpture paste. And finally, this is how beautiful our base looks. As now the base is ready, let's start making beautiful iris flowers. And for that, I'm going to use three different colors of sculpture paste. The first one is a royal color. This is how it looks. The second is white. And the third color I'm going to use is flora. This is how beautiful it looks. Paste is ready for use. I'm going to mix a little bit of flora with white so I may get three different shades and it is easy for shading now spread out all three shades of sculpture paste in this way when you mix a little bit of white with the same flora color this is how the shade you're going to get now first of all to make these petals i'm going to use palette knife number eight and let's start scraping the sculpture paste starting from the darkest one first in this way Scrape it till you get an uplifted oval shape from the other side. And now, as I have got here an oval side, I'm going to gently remove the excess sculpture paste from this side. Make sure that your this side is really, really clean. You can also scrape out any excess from the other side creating a first smooth surface like this and now start scraping the lighter shade this is the lighter shade look I'm going to start scraping white okay now we have got a perfect shape this is how it will look from the back and this is how it looks from the front side you can either lay this petal directly on the base or painting or or you can also place it on a palette like this so that you can give the right shape to use on the right time. In the same way, start making more four petals. And finally, white. This is how it looks. Now 
Now for the other side of petal, start scraping from the other side of your palette knife in this way till you get extended curve in your palette knife. First darker color, then the lighter color and finally then we'll move on to white. Okay, this is a beautiful shading. We have got to this beautiful petal. Beautiful petal, you see. Now this is how all our petals look. So let's start placing them one by one on our base. Bring both the petals close, yes, just like this. Okay, now I have placed this petal. Now let's start making a bud for our iris lily from the previous one petal remaining which was a combination of pink and white i have just given it a little bit of curve and this is so beautiful it looks so this is going to be our first petal for the next petal i'm going to use a light pink first which is going to be our lighter shade then remove the excess and then here I have a mixture of a royal which is purple and light pink. I'll start continuing this one. And finally the royal color. Make a big flip of this petal. This is how beautiful it looks from the back side. Pink, a mixture of pink and purple and purple right here. This is how it looks from the front. Place it on your palette in this way. Remove any excess you don't want and then I'm going to place this bud right here on top. Now placing the second petal which I want to flip and overlap the first petal place it gently right here and then flip it over need to give it a little shape now for the next half I'm going to use palette knife number eight and here is Kelly green next I'm going to take a little bit of yellow merge a little bit of yellow here this Kelly green then I'm going to use this new beautiful shade I think this is like walnut brown from Dian Arts spread it just on this half side with the Kelly green okay I think this is enough then using my palette knife I'll start scraping from the light green color like light yellow mixing with Kelly green Keep continuing it and give it a sharp edge by removing that corner moving towards brown see it already started forming such a nice beautiful curve remove any of this uneven things lay it down on your palette to give it a nice nice shape this is how it will look for the next part take a little bit of light green and on the top I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow now again I'll start scraping from one side cut off the excess and 
here I have got the next petal I'll place it on our palette in this way start from Kelly Green cut off any excess okay this is how it looks from the back side place it on the palette pick up a petal to place it right here I think this is quite big so I'll just cut half of its side now placing the next one Now to make a stem, roll out some sculpture paste in this way, place it where you want the stem to be and then using the palette knife start giving it the shape you desire. Now to make leaves, I like to keep three to four different shades. Each time I like to use green, which is Kelly, yellow with white, or sometimes to give it a darker shade, I also like to use this brown color. So now I'm going to show you how I make different gradations or different shades of leaf. Here I have mixed white with a little bit of green and yellow. And I'm going to use palette knife number seven, which looks like this. Start scraping from one side of the excess in this way Give a nice scraping you see the excess scrape it till you get a very nice and sharp edging okay we need it to be really really clean okay this is how it looks from front and back now very gently place it this place right here and then and give it a nice shape starting from here now to continue making that leaf and then giving it a little darker shade for the ending I'm going to collect this paste and make this base a little darker we are expecting to get a nice shade we have got a very nice dome here which we have to place in this way like this so this will be the leaf shape from the right side collect the same for the left side and then this is how you have to place this leaf for the left side and then I have mixed brown color with the same color of paste to get these two different sides. And you can see there is a very nice color gradation from light to green and then mixing this with a little bit of brown. Using your palette knife, give shape. Now I'm going to do the best one. Use a paintbrush and smooth out everything. right here I'm directly removing 
sculpt a base that I don't want I need to just smooth this all out in this way Now this is how our painting looks. We do have some space remaining in this part where we can either place a dragonfly or we can also place a beautiful butterfly. So this time I'm thinking to place a beautiful butterfly and for that here I'm combining two different colors of sculpture paste. First is pink and second is white. Lay them down flat in this way. Use a small size of palette knife. I'm using palette knife number five which looks like this. I need to scrape off the excess and this is how the shape we're expecting for a butterfly and then gently lay this part down you can easily give it a nice cut to get shape with different types of butterfly sometimes you need to make different types of shade include different types of color the most important thing to make a butterfly would be positioning the feathers or the wings that you're going to make for this butterfly so according to that, you can either shape it round, you can keep it this shape, that is completely your choice. So according to that, we have to place these different shapes of wings, but the most important thing would be to place them exactly in shape of a butterfly. So now let's start placing these wings. I need to shift the butterfly a little bit. Now this is how a butterfly looks. I have done some repositioning and I'm planning to place one more butterfly right in this place. Now let's make a body. For that, I have made a small, small half petal like this, just like a leaf. And then we need to place it. And then gently, gently push this little tall part upwards. If you want to shape it more, just use a paintbrush. Take just a teeny tiny little bit of sculpture paste in your hand and make a nice ball out of it. I like to place a ball as a head. There are different shapes. You can make different things. And just a drop of glue. I do it sometimes because separate things like this don't stick up easily. Now, after making this ball, place it on the glue. Sticking it to the body. It looks like a butterfly head. Now this is how you have to make a body. In the same way, I'm going to place a body piece right here. For body, you have to make a small petal like this and then cut it according to the shape of the body. If you want to make a wider body, keep it in a wide shape. If you want to make a smaller body, keep it much more slimmer like cutting it from right here. You'll get a very sharp edge that you can elevate and make it stand. The best thing about sculpture paste is you can shape it and I'm going to press a little bit on the sides in this way and this is how it looks. Now let's place it in this way. I'm going to make a little head right here because this body part is already long enough. 
Now to make the antennas, I have a bunch of pollens and I think black would suit the most and it would also look a little lifted up. I'll take help of this teeny tiny. I have a little bit of glue stick on the antennas. Would be good. I think one right here. I think the other one through the hole. This looks a little lifted up. Quite pretty. In the same way, I have placed more two antennas for the next butterfly. And now friends, this is how beautiful our sculpture painting of Iris Lily look when it is completely dry. And I've also done some coloring on these two beautiful butterflies. And I also gave the entire painting a glowing shimmering look using some shimmering acrylic paint that you can observe on the base. And to maintain the same glow and the shimmering look for a longer time on my sculpture paintings, I do like to seal it using varnish. So friends, do varnish your sculpture paintings at least two to three layers so your paintings will get a longer life. And friends, do try out this beautiful 3D looking art form that is sculpture painting. And do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.